everyone, Miss Maddie here to read another story to you guys this week. This week I chose the book No Jumping on the Bed by Ted Arnold. I wonder if you guys have ever jumped on your bed. So let's see what happens when this little boy jumps on his bed. In his bedroom near the top floor of a tall apartment building, Walter was getting ready for bed. Before turning out the lights, his father said, If I've told you once, I've told you a million times. No jumping on the bed. One day it'll crash right through the floor. Now lie down and go to sleep. Just one more time, asked Walter. But instead, he plopped down on his pillow and squeezed his eyes closed. Good night, said the father. He turned off the light and pulled the door almost closed. The room was dark and quiet, except for a soft thump, thump, thump coming from the room above. That's Delbert upstairs, thought Walter. He switched on his bedside lamp. If Delbert can jump on his bed, so can I. Walter bounced higher and higher. On his last jump, his hair brushed the ceiling. But when he came back down, his mattress creaked, the floor cracked, and the whole bed tipped sideways. Then down through the floor fell Walter, bed and all. Oh no, look at what happened when he jumped on his bed. I wonder what's going to happen to Walter. Now it happened that Walter's bedroom was directly above Miss Hattie's dining room. She was more than a little surprised when a bed fell through the ceiling and Walter laid it in her plate of spaghetti and meatballs. Was not expecting company for dinner, she mumbled with a mouthful of meatballs. I wonder how Miss Hattie's feeling. And look at Walter. Mmm, said Walter. Spaghetti is my all-time favorite. But before he could eat, his bed smashed to the floor, and the table kept crashing right down through. Down and down fell Walter, Miss Hattie, the plate of spaghetti, the bed, and all. Whoa, now look how much stuff is falling. I wonder what Walter might run into next. Mrs. Hattie's dining room was above Mr. Maddie's TV room. Mr. Matty didn't even notice a bed falling through his ceiling until a meatball bounced off his head. Miss Hattie tumbled into his lap, and Walter splashed into his aquarium. I've already had my bath tonight, said Walter. He wanted to stay and watch the monsters on TV, but his bed crunched through the floor, taking the TV with it. How do you think Mr. Matty's feeling? And look, there's Walter in the aquarium. Down and down fell Walter, Mrs. Hattie, Mr. Maddie, the TV, the spaghetti, the bed, and all. Walter's Aunt Batty had just moved into the building. She was still unpacking with Miss Hattie, Mr. Maddie, and a dripping wet Walter tumbled through the ceiling right into a box containing her rare Patagonia stamp collection. And there they are. When he burst through the bottom of the box, Walter was a sticky mess. I see you started collecting stamps, said Aunt Batty as she followed Walter through the new hole in the floor. Down and down fell Walter, Miss Hattie, Mr. Matty, Aunt Batty, the stamp collection, the TV, the spaghetti, the bed, and all. Patty and Natty had worked three days building their dream house with locks. Afraid that Fatty the Caddy might knock something over, they carefully shooed her out for the night. Then the upstairs neighbors came through the ceiling. Excuse us, said Walter, remembering his manners. We won't be staying long. The words were barely past his lips when Walter's bed bashed through the floor and continued on its way. How do you think the kids are feeling now that their block house just got ruined? Down and down fell Walter, Miss Hattie, Mr. Maddie, Aunt Batty, Patty, Natty, Fatty Cat, the stamps, the TV, the spaghetti, the bed, and all. The last thing Miss, Mr. Hanaratty ever expected to see was a bed coming through his studio ceiling, followed by nearly everyone in the building. If I had known you wanted to see my paintings, he said, I would have tidied up a bit but they never once paused to admire Mr. Hanratty's colorful artwork. They were too busy splashing in his cans of paint. Then his floor caved in and everyone followed Walter's bed down through the hole. 
Down and down fell Walter, Miss Hattie, Mr. Matty, Aunt Batty, Patty and Natty, Mr. Hanratty, Fatty Cat, 17 cans of paint, the stamps, the TV, the spaghetti, the bed, and all. Look how many people are now there. And look, now they're all covered in the paint. Mastro Filinaghetti and his string quartet were astonished by the colorful crowd that fell from the ceiling. The Mastro loved an audience, even if they dropped it unannounced. But when Walter's bed smashed through the floor and paint splattered everywhere, the Mastro wished his audience would leave. And so they did, along with the string quartet. Everyone's crashing in on the concert. Master Fergaletti's practice room floor was also the basement ceiling. It was dark and quiet as midnight down there. Walter squeezed his eyes closed and tumbled through the darkness until he landed on something soft. He opened his eyes. Everything was in its place. His bedroom lights were out. The door was almost closed, and through it, Walter could hear his mother and father talking quietly. No more jumping on the bed for me, mumbled Walter, as he lay back down to sleep. So do you guys think Walter actually went through that whole adventure of falling down everyone's floors? Hmm. Suddenly he heard a creak, the ceiling cracked, and down came Delbert, bed and all. Down and down fell Delbert. So what do you guys think is going to happen now that Delbert came through the ceiling? I wonder if they're going to have to go through the whole apartment building again that's the end of the story. So just be careful next time you jump on your bed because you do not want to get covered in stamps, spaghetti, and paint. So I hope you guys enjoyed that story this week and I hope you guys have a great weekend. See you soon!